Cecil Harkin? Yes. Were you born me. in Beltair or do we... I was born in Beltair. That's where you live now? And that's where we live now. And my father was a, came from Swinford. And they owned the Sheebeen pub at Rossbeck. Did they? Did they did, own yeah. That? yeah. And did you live in the Sheepian pub? No, I was born where I'm living at the moment, actually. So the pub was sold, the actually? Pub, no, my grandfather was in the pub. And can you remember when he bought it? Did you ever uh, hear when he bought it? Well, I didn't know. I don't no. know when he bought it. But he had it before before I was no. born. And you don't know who he bought it off? He bought it off Hopkins's. Hopkins's. And that would be Paddy Hopkins's people. And who did he sell it on to then? Uh, it was sold on to a man by the name of Baskell, Tom yes. Baskell. And did he have it for long? And he had it for a good few years and he sold it on to a lady by the name of Miss Rowland. And then? And she was in it for a good few years and in the, after that it was changed hands umpteen times. That's right, I remember that. I, yeah. I remember Miss Rowland myself. You know, yeah. And uh, where did you go to school? I went to school, I was educated in Kiladangan. Kiladangan. Kiladangan, yes. And who taught you there? Um, 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 Mrs. Uh, Kelly. And were there many pupils in at that time? Oh, when you were there? There were... Um, Oh, I suppose there was about 30. 30, and one teacher? And one teacher. Mrs Kelly? Mrs Kelly. All the time? All the time, in my time, yeah. Yeah. And what did you do after that then? Uh, after I finished school, I was uh, at home maybe for, uh, for a while, and I spent a while at uh, electrical work. I left school at 14. And who did you go working with in the I electrical? I worked myself and a fellow by the name of Chris de he used to do uh, all the, the the rural electrification was round at the time, and we're, he was going round. He was an electrician, and he was going around wiring houses. So I went to, I went to that kind of work for uh, about six months. I say with him. So there was no electricity. What what years were them about? That would uh, that'd be back in the uh, what would have been the fifties. Fifties, yeah. and there was no electricity in the there house. There was no much. electricity at all along this. We had it because we were on the main road to Lewisburg, but in the rural areas, we say in the back areas, they hadn't got it. And how, how did they manage? Uh, Oil lamps. Oil lamps. Oil lamps, yeah. And what kind of oil lamps? And oil lamps and... There no were cookers? There were no cookers? There were chilli lamps. There were... Uh, the, the, no, the, but the open fire. Open fire. Yeah, open so fire. So they cooked in the pot? Cooked in the pot. The pot was put down in the middle of the fire and the kettle was always hanging on the crook. On the crook. Yeah. Hanging <laughs> 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 nice the crooks all the time below in the shed. And were you out on the rural electrification yourself? Well, just for a while. Uh, just for a while, for a while yeah, yeah. yeah. Just for a while, young fella, yeah. And was it going up the poles and all that kind no, of stuff? No, I wasn't on the poles. I was in the houses, wiring the houses. Oh, in the, the houses, yeah. House, yeah. And at them times, all the lights they put in the house, there never one mm. in the kitchen. Mm. They, wouldn't put in the, they wouldn't put in the extra ones mm. at the time. All they wanted was one light. Was there, a bit, was there a bit of a fear of electricity at the time, was there? I'd say there would be, yeah. I think there were, they, didn't, so. they didn't know what to make didn't of it at the time, no. <laughs> And what did you do then? I left that then and I uh, went uh, into Shandy's. Shandy's? Yeah. And what year was that? Uh, that was 1957. 57? Yeah. The 16th of September 1957. And did you have to pay to go in that time, was it? Uh, no, no. no. I, uh, lucky enough that I got, no. a pound, uh, I got a pound to start. Pound. Sorry, no, before I went to Shandy's, uh, sorry, you know, I, uh, before I went to Shandy's, I worked with Tom McLaughlin on the Octagon. He had a draper shop on the Octane, right beside Hoban's pub. Uh, and what's in there now? There's the insurance agencies now. Hastings? Uh, Hastings Insurance, yeah. Okay, yeah. And he had a nice little shoe shop and a draper shop in it. So I went in there and I worked in it for six months. And I was going down to the post one day with the post to the post office for him. And going to Hughes's wholesale to get a few pair of weldings to bring up. And Mr. Malloy, there was the boss in Shannon's, met me and he was standing there and he asked me, he said, how are you young fella? I said, I'm not too bad, sir. So I said, would you be interested in a job? <laughs> so I thought, I said, yeah, I said, I would, depends on what kind of, he said, we have a vacancy in the shop here, he said, and I'd, lo I'd like if you'd be interested in it. And I said, I would, yes. He said, uh, could you come in on Monday morning and talk to the boss? I said, I can be there. So I went in, and it was Charlie Shandy himself that I met, and he was a gentleman. And I, he asked me, could I start straight away? I said, I know I couldn't start straight away. I said, I'd have to give the men a notice. So I gave the men a fortnight's notice and I started in Shanley's and I was there for the 49 years, going oh. into the 50th. And what did Tom McLaughlin say when you were back, when back in Dublin? He, I went back, he said, that's the third lad I've lost, he said, through Shanley's. <laughs> because there was a, an, an addict Dempsey in it before he went to Shanley's and there was a Seamus Morton mm -hmm. and he went to Shanley's. The Shanley's is a place to go Shanley's to, is it? Shanley's is a place to go to, yeah. yeah. I remember John Kelly of the Octagon, he's still alive. John came across, he was a friend, he was a related to Tom McLaughlin. They came from Drummond, all those people. Tom McLaughlin was a brother of Mick McLaughlin, that has the shop there, you know, yeah. the paper shop. And uh, John Kelly said to me, he said, he said, look, young fella, he said, what you should do now, he said, is try and get into Shandy's if you can, he said. Never thinking that I get into it, he said, because if you get into Shandy's, he said, it's as good as the bank. Yeah, that was so the, that was the, that was the, that was the, 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 the time. At the time, yeah. So you spent all the years in... Uh, I spent all the years in Shannon's. You retired when? When I retired in 
When I went to work in the Shannons, there was 20 of a staff. 20 of a staff. Yeah, there was 20 of a staff. Between and was it mixed and stores, men. men's and women's? Men's and women's, mm. yeah. yeah. And what kind of uh, men's stores were there? They were very... Oh, just top, suits, top is it? Top of the range. I was in the short department at the very beginning, short and ties and underwear. Mm. I served my time in that, and then I spent a while in the wool department. I spent a while in the curtains, and then we went, I went on into the men's. So they had bits of everything that time? They had oh, everything, they had everything, youths, boys, you, they had everything. Mm, okay, yeah. right. So. Oh, it was a famous shop. So you enjoyed your time there? I enjoyed my time, it was like, oh, it was like button salad to help. Every morning I went to work, away, I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to know the whole town, did I you? I got to know the whole town. Never and, the country. All the and the country. And the country. Well. They used to come down even from Galway, from mm. all around Tedford and all that shop in the Shandys. Mm. It was a well-known shop. And did you see much change in the Westport now from when you went into the Shandys till oh, you left? Oh, it's awful changes altogether. Different, oh, different town altogether. In what way? Yeah, the, every way. What were the biggest changes, sir? Uh, the biggest change, I think, was the changes of the premises. Mm. And all the big shops, you had John G. O'Malley's, you had, you had uh, John Gibbons's, you had Miles Stanton, you had all those people, and so they were all gone. They were all gone, They were all gone, yeah, they were all gone. All big changes. Change. Dominic Morton is one of the old shops now, isn't it, you know? Yeah. I'm selling McCormick's. Dominic said the biggest change in... Shot in Bridge Street was Shandy closing down. Well, it was a big change. Big everyone, change, yeah. everyone said that. <laughs> the town, yeah. when Shandy closed, the town kind yeah. of went. Shandy yeah. is famous all over the place. Well, isn't famous it? all over. Oh, they came from, came? they came even up from Leitrim and all the places up to Shandy. That's right. It right. Was well, well, it was one of the greatest establishments in the West. Mm. And who was the manager there? Uh, it was Mr. Malloy was the manager. Mr. Of my Malloy, yeah. William Malloy, yeah. our grand gentleman. And Mr. Smith worked in it. He mm. was a man lived on Mill Street. He sir, he worked in Bellinay. Shanley's owned Hanley's of Bellinay. They owned that shop as well. And they owned, he they owned Heaton's in Castle Bear mm. in them days. And how far back did Shanley's shop go? It went to 100 years. 100 years? Yeah. Was it 100 years when you left? It was almost, I think, 100. I think it was 100 when I left, yeah. Okay. He kind of held it on for 100. So who was there before Charlie? His, uh, his father, as well. Well, in his, uh, his father, yeah, that's father. right. But he was, did you know him? No. He, he, was, was. he had just been de dead and gone when I went to do it. Okay. What well, was like? Life when you were a young fellow settled. Oh, we had a great time. We had no money. We had a great time though. We every Sunday we put the football the, 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 put the put the football boots in a bag and we hit down for a little field called the Ten Acres. And there could be anything up to forty fellas playing football down there, young fellas. Every Sunday and you played from maybe two o'clock until seven. You came home and you got the tea and you went you might get sixpence in the house and you go into the you go into the pictures in town. And where was the cinema at? And the cinema was where the town hall is at the moment. And who and ran it? by the name of Peck Malone the ran it. Peck Malone. Yeah, Peck Malone the ran it. And it was, I think, was six months to get into the pit. And the pit was then the, the, up beside the screen. And then it was maybe a shilling to get into the into the, into the good part of it. <laughs> and would there, there be many in it? Oh, it used to be packed. Full every night? Full every night, yeah. yeah. Packed, packed every night. See, there was no televisions. Mm. There was nothing in that years at all. How many nights a week were there films on? Yeah, there films every night of the week. Every night, right? Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to do it. We might get one, we might get one now on a Sunday night in it. And you yeah. might you mightn't get a Sunday night, you might get a matinee. There used to be matinees in the middle of the day on Sundays and it'd be a bit cheaper to go to that. Because we weren't having the money. And were they up to date films? Or? They were all, all called my films, really. All called by John Wayne and all these films. <laughs> Can you remember <laughs> the names of any of them? Can you remember the names of any of them? <laughs> uh, Films. I can't. I, I, I can't name them. Tell you, Jim Northry and all them fellas. Hopper Lancaster, Hopper Lancaster, and and Butler Lancaster, and, 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 and Tantra. Remember Tantra the horse? That's right, Tantra the horse. That's right, yeah. yeah. And then you had the the Bowery Boys. Used to be uh, another film. They used to put that on before the big films. Yeah. But um, and how about dances? Had you uh, yeah, we enjoyed the dances. We used to go to the, we used to go to the pavilion to dances. Hmm. And who won the pavilion at that? Uh, a man by the name of Tommy Tunney. Tommy Tunney. Did he uh, build it? He, uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure whether whether he built it or not, to be honest with you. I'm not sure of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, Michael Hoban ran the Ideal. He had an Ideal cinema too, you see. That's right. Thanks. And he had uh, the dance hall in the Ideal. And every time I went to the Michael Hoban was a gentleman. When I go down to the dance on uh, Sunday night to Michael Hoban, because he was next door to where I worked in Shandy's, I never, I never had to pay to go in. Every time I went to the pay office to pay him to win, Sonny Harkin, he said, you're welcome, in you go. Oh, and nice, all the yeah. boys that were with me behind me thought they'd get in for nothing, but no, they had to pay it. <laughs> <laughs> but Sonny Harkin got in for nothing. And why did they let you in? Yeah, because I was next door to him working in, in Tom McLaughlin's. Oh, OK. And right he so. used to be in an old visit. And, and uh, having, Brian, a lovely man, Michael. You'd be having the chat, yeah. Yeah, lovely man, Michael. And what bands used to play in the dance halls that oh, time? Do you remember had, any of the bands? Yeah, you had... Uh, oh, Mick Delahunty played in it. You had... Uh, uh, he was a kind of an orchestra, wasn't he? He was an orchestra, right. You had mm. Jack Rowan from Ballinay, you had Brass Welch, you had 
Well, he had a lot of them. The ones that I just kind of think about, to be honest. The Royal Shaw Band player in... The Royal Shaw Band, yeah. All them, all them, all all them Shaw Band. All them Shaw Band. Over the Shaw Band era, yeah. Dickie Rock and all of them mm. top played in it, yeah. Much more. And, and did you stay on both sides of the uh, dance hall? The yeah, women stood one side and the women on the other side. And, and could you not mix? You couldn't go over and mix no, it? No, you were mixing it all. You'd be way enough hot when you go over and take out. And you <laughs> said, you said, Jesus, if I go over, she refused me to be in an off state, but sure, I'll chance it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Would you get many refusals at that time? I don't know. No, yeah, I don't the, mean... likes of, the likes of a fellow like me now were not saying that I was great or anything, but he wasn't a drinker. I used to be having a drink of me. Oh. And the women used to like fellas coming in with their drunk, they'd refuse them, you see. Know, know. But they used to say, the fellow go over and he'd ask a girl, low tension, she, she, she'd refuse me. Go up along the line. You need to get one before the, before the, <laughs> before the end of the line. He would, yeah, he would. There's no doubt no about it. Was there, much, was there much drinking that time in the, uh, all the, the dance? Well, yeah, there was a lot of drinking. Uh, yeah. Was there any fighting? They never came into the dance hall until 12 o'clock at night when the okay. pub was closed. Well, we uh, thought all this drinking was new. Yeah, no, it uh, was not new. There was no. The drinking was all in at that time, too. They, they were good at it, no, they, no, were. they were good at it, yeah. They were. Sure, they were, they, they were everyone that had a shilling, the drinkers, mm. yeah. <laughs> but I never drank, no, 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 I never smoked. Mm. And were the so, women as liberal in as they are now? Yeah, I was there. No, I guess they changed times now. <laughs> we come up in the wrong well, from year. What, from what you hear, like, with <laughs> from, what, from what we hear and what's going on. It's a bit tough in your time, oh, isn't it? was tough in our time, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm telling you, it was tough in our time. Yeah, what you'd be, you'd be lucky if you got a good kiss from a girl in our time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the uh, society you now, the, the kids I, and all? I think it's it's a shame the way it's gone. Yeah. It's, it's, de it's desperate the way it's gone. There's, Why? No, there's no way on them at all at the moment. Sure, if you went to Westport now on a Saturday night and see all the lovely young girls dressed to kill everything and dresses on them well not dressed at all pelmets <laughs> pelmets <laughs> yeah pelmets yeah it's a you shame. don't find them attractive no Oh, is that attractive? Boy? There's no question about it. But, <laughs> but it's a pity to see that happening. You know, yeah, yeah. it's a pity. Pity. Yeah. And I think the sixties were a great time. What well, was school like that time? And we were going to school, then mm. you had to, we used to always, my father always brought us an ass cattle trough to the school mm. for the year. But a lot of the people had to bring a side, if they didn't bring the cattle trough, they had to bring a side every morning. Bring a side every and the teacher then burned her arse in the fire all day long, standing <laughs> up in front of her. You got no heat, she was getting all the heat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me this, did you ever, did you resent the fact that you were getting the odd tip? Yeah, I suppose you didn't, you know, you didn't. That's, you, that's the way it was. Because that's the way it was, and you weren't the only one because everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody done the primary. Everybody done the primary, yeah. Everybody done the primary, but was the, we didn't do no leaving the right time. No leaving. Did, did you go to secondary school for a year or two? No, 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 straight, no, yeah. straight into work, yeah. Didn't do you any hair? Well, we educate ourselves after. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it didn't do us any hair, and we got our jobs, and we kept our work, and we... We kept in. We kept inside the law. And we were never in trouble. Mm. No young fellas in trouble at all in the years. If in those years, you know, maybe before, a little bit before my time, if a young fellow was say doing any bit of trouble, let him be on his way home from town at night and maybe uh, do, open a gate or break something, he was into let the frack straight away the next day. There was no mercy for you. Straight mm. in you went. Yeah. yeah. Were times better then? Uh, I'd say there were. Yeah, there was no money, but there were better times. Yeah. You it's were safe. Safer. There were safe times. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, if fellas had to have a bit of a, an argument to move themselves, they'd go out and they'd fight. And if they forgot, no, there was no more war. No, they'd have to go and kick themselves and kick their heads and kill them before they leave. That's right. But yeah. there was no fighting in our time anyway. No, yeah. very little.